and welcome to the Writing Station's Handwriting Practice Session. Today we are going to find out what those lines mean on our writing paper. Parents and teachers, you will need to click on the link in the description box to print out a copy of today's writing practice paper. In addition, you will also need crayons, a pencil, scissors, and glue stick. Just a quick note, parents and teachers, we work very hard to bring you high quality videos. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to this channel. Very important. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, so let's get started on our writing grid. We know that our writing paper has four lines, one, two, three, four. The first line at the top is called the skyline. The line in the middle the, with the dashes is called the plain line. The line underneath the plain line is the grass line. And the very last line is called the worm line. Now, so far, we've used each one of the lines. Boys and girls, now we need our crayons. When you get your crayons, you're going to take out the blue first. We're going to color our lines. The more we interact with the lines, boys and girls, the more you will remember what the lines mean. The first line is called the skyline. When you think of the sky, you think of blue. We're going to color that line blue all the way down. The next line is called the plain line. We're going to color that line black. It's the line that has the dashes. The next line, line number three, is called the grass line. And we're going to get our green crayon and we're going to color that line green. The last line, line number four, is the worm line. And when we think of a worm, we think of nature and we think of brown. Okay. So we have colored our lines, talked about why we call them the um, skyline. The skyline is at the very top. Skyline, we color it blue. Then we have the plain line. When you think of an airplane, you think of a runway going straight across. The green line is next, the grass line. The grass line, because grass is at the bottom, on the ground. And then the very last one, underneath the grass, we think of the worm line. We color that brown. Okay, next boys and girls, you're gonna need your scissors. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out the four boxes. Guess what we're going to do with them? If you think, or if you said, we're going to glue each box into the, onto the correct line, you're absolutely right. We're going to glue our pictures next to the corresponding line. So the skyline will go first. Cut out our pictures. I like to cut out all my pictures at once. It makes it a lot easier and faster for me. And you don't have to be a perfect cutter outer, boys and girls.
we're going to have our skyline and our plain line and a picture for our grass line and our worm line. Four pictures. Okay. Now you should have your glue. We're going to need our glue stick. I'm going to take my glue stick, boys and girls. Watch what I do with it. And you don't need a lot of glue. Just one swipe, one swipe, one swipe, one swipe. And that's it. Put the top back on. The first picture, the first line is the skyline. So we're going to put the picture with the cloud on the first line. The next line is our plane line. So you're going to put the picture of the airplane there next. Our third line is the grass line. So we're going to put that there. And our last line is our worm line. Hey, buddy. It's our word, worm line. Okay. We're going to color our pictures last. So take a look, boys and girls. We have our blue line, which is our sky line, our black line, which is our plain line, the third line is the grass line, and the last line is our worm line. Take a look at the grid, at the letter. What letter is that? C, C. Okay, boys and girls, what sound does the letter C make? C cat k. Exactly. C cat k. Boys and girls, take a look. There's only one stroke to making the letter C. The uppercase letter C is a skyline letter. It starts at the top of the skyline. And the arrow is telling us to go all the way around and stop like a half circle. So we're going to start at the first dotted line, we're gonna go around, around. Don't pick up your pencil till you're at the last dash. And there, letter C. So we started at the skyline and we went around, curved through the plane line and we ended on the grass line. The lowercase c is a plain line letter. That means that it starts underneath the plain line. So we're going to start on the first dash and we're going to go all the way around. We're going to follow the arrow. Arrow is telling us how to do it. And stop. I think this is probably the easiest letter to make. I don't know easiest curve letter. Anyway, let's see if we can do it all by ourselves. See, we're going to curve down. Very good. We started at the skyline and we ended at the grass line. And let's make our lowercase c. Very good, boys and girls. Very good. Okay. Now we can color our pictures. The first picture is a picture of the sky, the skyline. So we'll color that blue. I'm going to color the sun as well. The next line is the plain line. Then the grass line. And you can color your flower any color you want. 
And the very last picture or the last line is our worm line. And that's it. We did it, boys and girls. Give yourself a pat on the back. Very good. See you next time.